Right now at 6, Jordan Brown's conviction overturned. He was 11 years old when police say he shot and killed his father's pregnant fiance. It was a story that we watched closely for years. Today I learned more about the ruling from Pennsylvania's high court, which came down this morning. Their decision had everything to do with the evidence in the case. It's our top story tonight at 6. The state Supreme Court's 5-0 ruling reversed a finding by a juvenile court judge in Lawrence County and upheld by a state appellate court that Jordan Brown was guilty of first-degree murder and homicide of an unborn child. And based on the Supreme Court's interpretation of the evidence, there wasn't sufficient evidence uh, to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Investigators felt that Jordan used a shotgun, which had been a gift from his dad, to shoot Kenzie Houck in the head on February 20th, 2009. Kenzie was eight months pregnant. Jordan was arrested while an 11-year-old fifth grader, and this was how his father described it in an interview eight years ago. He looked like a baby in an orange jumpsuit in an adult jail. The case twisted in multiple courts, taking years to decide. The justices' opinions talked a lot about evidence being insufficient to establish his delinquency beyond a reasonable doubt, saying, among other things, that trial evidence pointing to a shotgun in Brown's bedroom as the murder weapon supported an equally reasonable conclusion that it wasn't the murder weapon. And if there's two plausible conclusions from the evidence, it appears to me that the justices said, you can't convict and overturned that decision. Justice Deborah Todd wrote the majority opinion, and her writing included a lengthy analysis of the evidence. Going through uh, the way the uh, prosecution interpreted that evidence and the way the defense interpreted that evidence, and, and her conclusion was uh, that although there was evidence presented, uh, it wasn't enough um, to, to convict and, and overturn the decision. Jordan Brown spent seven years in detention. He was released in 2016.